Good evening, class, and welcome to this week's episode of Braid School. Today's lesson is going to be on tucking. Tucking is not just a method used to conceal color, but it is an essential skill needed in braiding to ensure longer lasting braids. Not only am I gonna show you how to tuck color, but we will cover tucking those ends in, including those dreaded blunt ones. So hit that subscribe button, grab your notes, and let's get started. If you are following along today and don't have a model handy, I strongly suggest calling Sheila. She is my most loyal model, always on time, and her hair is always clean and blown out ready for a new style. I'll leave her info in the description box below so you can book her for your next class. You're also gonna need braiding hair, and of course, I'm gonna use a colored piece for demonstration purposes. This is in the color 30. And what I like to call braiding gold, the infamous shine and jam. Gels and jams don't hold the hair together, but they do help you get the job done. And for my seasoned braiders out there, let's take a quick moment to appreciate this fresh jar opening. I don't know about y'all, but I love me a fresh jar. You almost don't wanna touch it. <laughs> Oh, and before we get started, or y'all come for me in the comments, yes, I have an injury on my thumb. I got into a small altercation with a flat iron last week and burned a large area of my thumb, but no worries, it's healing nicely, just a small occupational hazard. So we're going to start with color tucking because if you can master this, you will understand how to tuck any braid. When you do color tucking, you wanna make sure you start off with even strand distribution and enough braiding hair to cover each strand. So if you're having pieces sticking out or find it difficult to cover a strand, it's more than likely you aren't using enough braiding hair to cover it. I'm applying a small amount of jam to create a little slip and I'm going to start a box braid using my two strand split method for even strand distribution. We had a previous session on eight ways to start a box braid so make sure you go check out that video if this method doesn't work for you. Now watch and follow along as I take my time and slowly go down the braid wrapping each section with each turn. I'm a perfectionist, so if I want a complete color tuck and I see a piece sticking out, I'm gonna go back and fix it. So there you have it, even strand distribution and enough hair to cover each strand is all you need to tuck the natural hair evenly for a longer lasting braid. Now it's important to note this works for most hair types, but if you have a client with unhealthy hair, you know, like different hair lengths all over or frizz prone hair or blunt ends, it's important to educate your client and let them know over time as their hair grows out, gets wet, or is exposed to moisture, it is normal for the braid to loosen over time. So now that you've got color tucking mastered, let's move on to mastering those dreaded blunt ends. And we're gonna do so by cutting a piece of hair. 
Don't worry, girl, I'm not cutting your hair today. I'm gonna head over to my workstation and just cut a little piece of synthetic braiding hair just for demonstration purposes. Now blunt ends can be super challenging without practice because the hair tends to be stiff and the ends do exactly what they wanna do. I also find this to be true with relaxed hair, especially very thick relaxed hair. The hair isn't very pliable and doesn't wanna cooperate most of the time. You also don't wanna scam the system and cut your client's hair. That's gonna be a no-no. So let's try this again. This time I'm going to grab my styling jam to help me tame this beast. And again, taking my time very slowly, I'm ensuring with each turn, I am maintaining as much tension as possible, all while wrapping and tucking down the braid. And that's it, those ends are tucked in tight and ready for a good rest. I know this process can seem time consuming, but trust me, the end product is well worth it and your clients will certainly appreciate the effort. And don't get discouraged if you don't catch every single hair, you can only do your best. So that's it for this session, which means it's now discussion time. This is for my braiders this week. How would you rate your tuck game on a scale of one to 10? One being beginner and 10 being tuck game on 10,000 with no products, girl. Of course, we welcome all comments for healthy discussion here. So leave any questions you have below. I will stick around for about an hour to engage with you guys tonight. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you learned something, hit that like button and share it with your friends so I can continue to bring you content just like this. Thanks for joining today's session and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.